will Tia Clayton, yes, you heard me right, shatter Serena Cole and Alana Reed's dreams at Carifta Trials 2023? Plus, is Brian Lavelle injured? And more on Jaden Hibbert. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please. Hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. So, are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Jaden Hibbert continues to shine. The freshman who has entered the fray formerly of Kingston College and now representing the Razorbacks. Of course, is now the Freshman Field Athlete of the Year. He recently set a record, becoming the youngest person in history to jump over 17 meters in a triple jump event, winning the SEC Indoor Championship triple jump title at the same time. Now, we know he should be heading over to the NCAA Division I Indoor Track and Field Championships being held this weekend in Albuquerque. But you do know that, as I said, he went to Kingston College. Yes, he's a Fortis like myself. And we wanted to share, um, how would I put it, the Razorbacks' perspective and the connection between themselves and Kingston College athletes. Kingston College is a school known for winning. Oh, we have five athletes right now from KC. Uh, our total athletes that I've had the privilege of coaching from KC is, I think, I think we're at 10. So in the beginning, in 09, there was Elaine Bailey and Tarek Batchelor. We went down and recruited Clyde Pollock, who came in to be another national champion, Olympian. And then there was Omar McLeod, another couple national championships with him. And then after that, there was Kerry McLeod, who came in and is SEC champion, an Olympian. And then after that, there was Wayne Pinnock, who's also been an NCAA champion. And then most recently, we have Shaquan Koch, who is another jumper that transferred in from Barton County. We have Jaden Hibbert, who is a young freshman that has just done a fantastic job for us already and is leading the NCAA in the triple jump as a, as a true freshman for us. And then we have Ralford Mullings, who is an extremely talented discus thrower from the same high school uh, that's also now here with us as, as a Razorback. Fortis, Fortis, the Casey connection with the Razorbacks is unbelievable. Now, is Brian Lavelle injured? Um, word is that he is, will not be running at the Carifta Trials. And you know something, I do remember that last year the same thing happened and he was not able to run at Carifta Trials. Okay, coaches, what are you guys doing wrong over there with Brian Lavelle? Because he seemed to have been injured last year at around the same time and he seems to be injured once again. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. I can't blame the coaches naturally. But one would have to look at the coaches because, I mean... Come on, this is this is a kind of strange. Don't you all think it's okay? I know you're gonna say athletes get injured all the time, but I'm just saying, come on, guys. He was injured last year around the same time, and he seems to be injured around the same time this year. So I don't know. I'm just saying. Anyway, the rumor is that he is injured. That's what we have been told. So you know, we're working. We don't normally work off rumors, but we think this is probably very true. So we probably will not see Brian Level of Edwin Allen competing at this weekend's Carifta Trials where our top on the 20, the top on the 20 athletes in Jamaica will be competing. Speaking of which, top on the 20 athlete. Okay, so I know some of you are going to be confused when you hear this one, but guess what? Tia Clayton, yes, Tia Clayton, that Tia Clayton of the Clayton Twins, of the Turbo Twins, will be competing in the under 20 that is ages 18 to 19 um girls 100 meters at the carifta trials starting tomorrow friday yes now i know this is going to confuse a couple of you so let me clarify now serena cole's personal best in the 100 is, is 11.25 which she did last year in 2022 alana reed's 
season's best so far this year is 11.39, which she did in on March the 1st at GC Foster College. And Serena Cole's best so far did the 4th of February, which is 11.57. And of course, there's this young lady, Alexis James, who we should say is a factor. Now, clearly, before Tia Clayton was announced to be in this race, the clear favorites were Serena and Alana Reed. The battle would be between them. And of course, we cannot exactly count out Alexis James of Petersfield. She is a silver medalist, of course, from last year's under 20 women's 100 meter hurdles. So, you know, we cannot take her lightly. But the clear favorites, as, as far as I was concerned, would have to have been Alana Reed and Serena Cole. Now, with Tia Clayton jumping into the fray, Looking at the stats with a personal best of 11.25, uh, that's from last year, we have no idea what her season's best is thus far. We don't know because she has not ran 100 meters. We did see her run 11.05 with a plus 2.9 win behind her in a 60 meter dash earlier, which was impressive within itself, but it was a plus 2.9 win. So we have no idea. But I'm going to assume that since she's under the tutelage of the genius Stephen Francis and she's over there at MVP Track Club, I don't think her personal best is going to still be 11.25. I think she's going to be way more competitive at this point. So will she be able to... What, what's the term they use? What, what the term I hear somebody use? Yeah, eat, <laughs> eat a lot of read and serving a cold food. Um... I'm not sure if I like that terminology. No. Will she be able to... Sh will she shatter the dreams of Alana Reed and Serena Cole for winning that 100 meters? Because she, Tia Clayton entering this fray really spices up this weekend's Carifta trials. You, you have to keep it locked here to Peter Light World. You know, we give it, the, we give it the best news. We give it the latest news and we give it the hottest news. And we also give you great, great reporting and uh, detailed commentary. Commentary. So this is going to be really interesting. I don't know about you, but I think she just entering the fray. Um, she really changed the entire dynamic of this conversation. Uh, I'm not going to say Tia Clayton is a clear favorite because thus far, Alana Reed still has a, the PB, the, the best, not PB, but the best season's best of, of 11.39. And she seems to just be getting better and better and better with every, every freaking race. And she was always competitive with Tia Clayton. Do not forget and Serena Cole was actually faster than Tia Clayton last year. Serena Cole's, as I said, her preview um, from last year was 11.13. But we have no idea what is happening with, with Tia Clayton. And I have to say that one of the reasons why Siva Francis would put her in this race is to exactly test to see where exactly she is in terms of her 100 meters. This is going to be a really interesting reason. And I'm telling you, Siva Francis is a, is a sly old fox. No disrespect, man. That man is really, really clever. He knows what he's doing with his athletes. Now, before um, you get confused, let me explain. A lot of people believe that the Carissa trials on the 20 references amateurs. It does not. The fact is, most um, the Carifta athletes, not most, but Carifta athletes do not have to be amateurs. They can be pros. The criteria is not whether or not you're a professional athlete or an amateur athlete the cri or, a, or a high schooler or a college student. The criteria is your age. That's the most important thing. And Tia Clayton is just 18 years old. So she qualifies automatically to enter at Carifta trials in the under 20 category. So you, anyone under 20 can enter, male or female, at Carifta Trials to represent their country. They, whether or not they're, in fact, in Europe, I was told by one of my um, virgins who is a pro where this is concerned, that in Europe, many of the under 20 events are run by the pro athletes. So I know some of you might be a little confused, but that's what happened. It's not about whether or not you're amateur or you are a pro. It, with the Carifta Trials, you just have to be under 20 and you qualify. So Tia Clayton has entered the fray, people. Who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be Tia Clayton? Is it going to be Alana Reed? Is it going to be Serena Cole? Or does Alex Alexis James of Petersfield has any hope? People, this is going to be a nail biter. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Remember, you are royals. You are royals. <laughs> Kings and queens. Bless up.